last 10 minutes, huh? Yeah, pretty crazy, yeah. It's, uh, it's kind of several different types of games all wrapped into one, so you never know what to expect. Main UNH game, so, you know, it's exciting. We calmed down for a while there when we had the lead, and then you see they did a nice job uh, capitalizing on that on that power play and getting back in there, making it uh, very interesting there. We didn't, we didn't want to call our time there, obviously, because they already knew there, and we didn't want to. Like we set up a play, but um, they did a great job coming back in there and, and making it uh, very tight at the end. And, but uh, no, we're proud of our guys, and it, was, it didn't come easy. It was hard fought. It's great to see Kyle Beatty, a senior, he been out for a while. And, and, uh, see him step up tonight was, uh, I was very happy for him. How important was that for you to have Kyle Beatty come, well, come back last week and yeah. played so well tonight? Yeah, he's done a great job. He, you know, it's tough coming back after that long out. I thought he did well last week. He scored a big goal for us to start a comeback on Friday. You know, victory over Northeastern, but he wasn't 100%. And so, or was Joe. And, and this weekend to get those two guys back, uh, feeling close to 100% made a big difference. You could see the level of his play was, you know, his feet, the conditioning. And the big thing was they got a week of practice in. And that really helped them. Uh, tonight I thought their, their legs were a lot better, those two guys. So. Was the plan to move Beatty back to the middle, or is that because Higgins was out? Uh, it was uh, a little bit of both. Uh, you know, we, we thought about putting him back. Last weekend, we put him at wing just because he'd been out for so long, so we wanted to give him a, an easier handoff last week. Um, this week, he was definitely ready to go back to center. And, and uh, so, uh, you know, tomorrow we'll watch the tape and, and see if we want to uh, put Stu back in, either at center or wing, and, and uh, any other possible changes. But, uh, we had a feeling Kyle was ready to, to go at center, yeah. regardless. After that first goal that you made score, <clears throat> how important was that? You know, next minute, two minutes, and you guys got those two points. Yeah, that was a key moment there. Yeah, and uh, you know, with the goals being reviewed, typically, you know, it gives you a little time to, to compose yourself. And, did you, you say know, anything specific to the team? No, no, the guys did most of the talking themselves. Actually, just try to calm them down a little bit. Uh, no, it was great. I mean, that was a key moment to be able to respond with two quick goals after they scored. Uh, was certainly uh, was uh, you know I think our, our team's come a long way. You know, we're, we're, uh, since the start of the year, I, I, that was good. It was a good response to, to bounce right back with a couple. And how good Marty played. I mean, oh, he's great. Yeah, he minutes. was excellent. Yeah, and he just made a lot of key stops throughout the game. We have so much confidence in him. You know, I thought he deserved a bit better faith than three goals against. I thought he was fabulous and made some big stops. Uh, before the game, was there a sense of urgency in the locker room with the guys knowing how important uh, results were this weekend? Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. You yeah, know, they're very aware of the situation. And, um, you know, but they did a nice job. They rose to the occasion and you know, found that nice good balance between intensity and composure. I thought we did a good job. Uh, staying out of the penalty box, you know, Beatty's hook, uh, as well as he played, that was a, a, a bit of a foolish penalty to, to take for a 4-1, to one. so he knew it, but um, that opened the door for, for that comeback there, but uh, other than that, I thought this one was excellent. And you've been keeping track of the UMass comeback? Yeah, we heard they just tied it up, I guess, so, so be it. Any score there, Tom? Nothing there. All right. So we just got to focus on ourselves. Talk about the uh, play of Devin Shore. He looked like one of your best players in the ice, especially the first uh, 30 minutes of the game or so. Yeah, he's really matured and you know, he's a true freshman, so he's, he's getting a lot of ice time uh, for a true freshman, and, and he deserves it. He's, uh, you know, him and Bomberg and Joey have a, you know, developed a quick chemistry there, so that's great. And yeah, Devin's a very complete player. He's great on faceoffs. He's a good family killer. He's good on the power play. <coughs> I can use him at the point on the power play. Uh, you know, he's got great hockey sense, an excellent play on the first goal, you know, the shorthanded goal. He brought it in, he drove it wide, he cut back, and then he saw Steve Swaver coming off the bench. So that's a lot, of, a lot of things to combine into one play, but he's the kind of guy that can make those kind of heads, heads up plays. So we're, we're very proud of Devin. He's, he's, an, he's going to be an elite player, and you know, Dallas has a, has a great draft pick there. Um, Tim, what happened at the end? Did the refs ask you guys to leave the ice? Or? That's what we thought. Yeah, it was just, I guess, the miscommunication. He said, I guess the official said he actually just said peel off, and the guy saw it and said get off. So uh, yeah, misunderstanding we uh, um, there. So uh, you know we we'll get to shake hands tomorrow night. So uh, yeah, we uh, that was 
I guess just a miscommunication there because we didn't even send the guys off. And that was the first thing I, uh, my guys said that he told us to, to get off. And, but, and I asked the ref at, at the end, and he said, you know, we'd say peel off to get in on this. Yeah. These UNHC main games are usually pretty physical. Do you, you know, pull it over a little bit at the end? Do you expect tomorrow's game to kind of carry that same idea? Yeah, I mean, it'll be, it'll be a great game, I'm sure. You know, it's always a hard fought game when the two teams get together. And, uh, I thought, you know, it was an exciting hockey game. You kind of mentioned it earlier. Can you kind of talk about how far this team has come from early in the year? Yeah, no, we're, uh, you know, it's, it didn't come easy. We're 2 11 and 2 in the first half, and then since Christmas, I think. Nine, nine, six, and four. So, you know, we've, we've made a lot of stuff. And, you know, those uh, six losses, a lot of them were very close, you know. So, we're, we've, we have come a long way in, in spite of uh, a lot of serious injuries. You know, 100 and whatever it is now, 115 man games lost to injury at this point, which is a ridiculous amount. But that's one of the things we're most pleased with is we've been able to fight through those injuries. And, and uh, now the guys don't even talk about it. And we just, you know, it's just who's going to fill in this time. So that's uh, you know a big good reflection on the on the seniors and for their stick-to-itiveness and, and their perseverance uh, to be able to uh, you know uh, play like this in the second half. We're real proud of them. Did you get that nine-game losing streak here too? Get yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, you know that's good. It's always good to get that thing. You know, they got a great team and obviously very well coached. And you know, so it's not easy to play here, but uh, it's good to get that. Uh, you know, we got we got two wins down at BC, and then we got this one here, and so uh, no, it's good. We're happy for the guys. Anything else? Thanks, Thanks coach.